hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so today we are going to uh, start a new uh, topic which will be about waves and uh, oscillations which comes under the discuss it under the physics section so this topic is very much important for each and every branch of engineering and from basic science point of view as well now waves and oscillations why is this uh, part section of physics is very important because no matter in which uh, stream of engineering we are in be it mechanical be it civil be it electrical be it electronics be it signal processing or any other we come across this uh, waves and oscillations this aspect either in direct way or indirect way now we all know that almost each and every aspect can be represented in terms of waves and oscillations okay the suppose uh, the for a, if I have to give an example, the analysis of buildings. Well, I am not from mechanical uh, department, but still, the analysis of buildings is done basis on the wave characteristics. Okay, the resonant frequency of a structure with respect to when it, when it is designed. Well, from the point of view of earthquakes as well. The design characteristics has to be done from the point of view of the resonant frequency there are a lot of other things and just to give an example i am saying then uh, be it optics we know light has dual, dual uh, nature both wave and particle nature there then uh, in electrical and electronics the signals you know they travel in wave like nature we all know sinusoidal cosinusoidal whatever we take and it exhibits oscillatory nature so each and every aspect it it has some relation with this topic waves and oscillations in some uh, direct or indirect way so it is very important to have a good basic understanding about this uh, this whole part so this is just an introduct introductory video okay so here we'll discuss only some basic things about waves and oscillations so as this the name of the topic it uh, suggests it consists of two parts waves and oscillations we'll discuss it in two parts okay waves and oscillations and we'll discuss various important concept under these headings that is uh, waves and oscillations in oscillations we'll discuss about periodic and uh, oscillatory motion simple harmonic motion characteristics of simple harmonic motion examples and their analysis about damped and undamped oscillations free forced and resonant oscillations coupled oscillations and many more important uh, concepts then in waves we'll discuss about the basic definition of waves the types of waves the mechanical waves then about the various categories or types of mechanical waves longitudinal and transverse waves and various terminologies and parameters associated with waves sound waves superposition principle the wave characteristics doppler effect and many other things these are just the main headings that we are going to touch we'll discuss them in detail so it will be very interesting and it is also very important so first let us discuss some basic concepts related to the uh, oscillations and waves which will come across while discussing uh, the various concepts associated with it first the most basic uh, idea which is periodic and oscillatory motion okay now what is periodic motion and what is oscillatory motion now the definition of periodic motion 
it is a type of motion which repeats itself okay it repeats itself after a fixed interval of time okay the motion it repeats itself after a certain period of time and this fixed time interval is called as the time period of the periodic motion now some basic examples of periodic motion it uh, is the revolution of earth around sun and the time period is 365 days one year 365 something in fraction that we can take it as one year then revolution of moon around earth the time period is around 27 uh, days now these two phenomena revolution of earth around sun and the revolution of moon around earth uh, around earth they are very much important the first one causes a change in the cycle of seasons and various other things the second causes day and night and all that so this is, these are examples of periodic motion okay they repeat themselves after a certain fixed period of time in case of the revolution of earth around sun the time period is one year after one year from a particular point if we calculate or if we observe after one year earth will be at the same position again after from any point you pick after one year earth will be from that point from that instant if we calculate the position after one year earth will be at the same position in the orbital path similarly moon after 27 days 27.3 days the moon will be in the exact same position where it was 27 days earlier so the motion is periodic and the period is one year and 27 days respectively for the earth around the sun and the moon around earth now what is oscillatory motion now oscillatory motion is one type of periodic motion okay it is periodic motion but it has some difference okay it is it 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 has a slightly you know uh, extra feature associated with it it is periodic motion but the extra feature which this oscillatory motion has is that it exhibits a to and fro movement okay about a fixed point a fixed position it exhibits a to and fro motion a to and fro movement it vibrates okay it vibrates with around that mean position it vibrates it oscillates about that mean position to and fro okay so that fixed position is called as mean position or equilibrium position so oscillatory motion is a type of periodic motion in which a particle a object an object or a body it moves to and fro about a fixed position and that fixed position is called as equilibrium position now we'll discuss about them in detail basic some examples of oscillatory motion now the simple pendulum one of the most famous examples of oscillatory motion we have a simple arrangement a bob a spherical bob is attached to a string and when we take the bob take it to a certain uh, you know uh, position a certain extreme position to the left or to the right and we release it from that position it moves to and fro about a certain fixed central uh, mean position now finally it comes at rest at that position so the motion of the bob in a simple pen pendulum is a is an example of oscillatory motion then a spring attached with a mass okay when we press the string the spring and we release it from that position the spring and the mass they exhibit oscillatory motion a to and fro movement about a particular 
fixed point as the reference position the mean position or the equilibrium position then a vibrating tuning for a tuning fork that is also uh, oscillatory motion when we strike the tuning fork uh, with uh, an object or anywhere it oscillates each and every part of the tuning fork it oscillates it vibrates with uh, to and fro movement to and fro behavior about a fixed position called as the reference position okay so oscillatory motion is periodic motion but it has an extra characteristic which is that it vibrates to and fro along the same path about a fixed point reference point called as the equilibrium position okay now there is an important point that we have to take care of here now the oscillatory motions or vibratory motions they are periodic in nature all oscillatory motions are periodic in nature but the opposite is not true that is all periodic motions are not oscillatory okay here we just studied that oscillatory motion is a periodic motion is a type of periodic motion and i said that it has an extra feature so all oscillatory motions are periodic in nature but all periodic motions are not oscillatory in nature for example the motion of moon around earth or uh, the earth around the sun it is periodic but they do not exhibit a to and fro movement okay about a from one extreme to another extreme with uh, the reference position somewhere in the middle they do not exhibit a movement like that but they are periodic okay but not oscillatory so this is an important point to remember about periodic and oscillatory motion so this video was all about this i just wanted to give you a very short introduction about waves and oscillations the topics which we are going to cover in this section and just to give a quick uh, recapitulation on periodic and oscillatory motion okay so in the upcoming videos we'll discuss about these concepts related to oscillations in detail and also about waves so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much